Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be cooking up a tri-tip on the Lone Star Offset Vertical. Let's get going. So for this cook, we're starting out low and slow. I'm running the pit at 225 degrees Fahrenheit and for the smoking portion, we are burning coastal white oak, which has a pretty light smoke. When I'm done with the smoking portion, we're going to sear this thing off using red oak. So we're gonna start out by making a very simple dry rub. So here's that tri-tip. It was sent to me by my buddies over there at Porter Road Butcher Shop in Nashville, Tennessee. 2.7 pounds and it is gorgeous. Just some beautiful marbling going on. Let's go with that rub now. So again, like I said, this rub is going to be very simple, but we're breaking away from that kind of traditional Santa Maria style rub you'd see. It's basically three ingredients, equal amounts. First ingredient will be coarse ground black pepper. Second ingredient, coarse ground kosher salt. Final ingredient will be a quarter cup of Burberry. And Burberry is an Ethiopian spice blend and it's life-changing. You try this on brisket and uh, it's amazing stuff. And again, I went with equal amounts of each, a quarter cup each, but you can make adjustments, you know, to suit your personal tastes. So we're just gonna give this a shake. And let's get this applied to the tri-tip. All right, let's get this on the pit. All right, so again, we're running this pit at 225. Once the tri-tip hits an internal temp of 120 degrees, I'll be pulling it off, let it rest, get this bad boy ready to sear it off. See you guys in a bit. So we're into this cook now, a little over an hour and a half, and we just hit that 120. Sun's killing me right now. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tri-tip off the pit. And here's what we're looking at so far, some gorgeous color going on. So I'm going to go ahead and take this in the house, just loosely cover it in foil. In the meantime, I'm going to get the grates on this thing and crank up the temp. We'll finish this off. The tri-tip's all rested up. And what I'm going to do now is simply spread on a little bit of clarified butter. This is going to help with the non-stick on the grates and then also add a little bit of buttery flavor. There we go. Let's get this thing on the grill. So as you can see, I have grill grates on the opening of the firebox for the Lone Star Grill right now. These are 18 and a half inch grill grates and I am really looking forward to doing this. I have never done this before, but it just seems like the right thing to do. Um, in the firebox right now, I have a few logs of red oak blazing. So I'm just gonna give this a really fast sear. And there we are, looking good. So I allowed the tri-tip to rest a little bit. It's looking wonderful. Let's go ahead and get this thing sliced. Nice mid-rare. Now, one note, I'm cutting it, these small little bites here into, they'll become larger slices, but we're actually going to be making sandwiches here. And this is the way I like to do it when I make sandwiches. I cut from the point down to the middle and then slice each half separately. The smell coming off this is amazing right now. Just that nice kind of red oak smell. Check this out. It's very, very tender, very, very juicy. I'm a happy man right now. I've been chomping at the bit, chomping at the bit ever since I saw the opening on that firebox, that big square opening to get grill grates for that. And uh, boy, 
I'm glad I did. It, it just, again, it's already a crazy versatile grill, but now it's even more versatile. And um, the thing that's cool is, you know, especially with that red oak, it's such a fragrant wood anyway, uh, that that flavor just really came through. I mean, it, it, it almost tasted like a Santa Maria grilled tri-tip. Um, I cannot wait to cook a big old thick steak on, on the grill grates on that Lone Star now. Um, the tri-tip, again, Porter Road, check them out. Uh, I love those guys. They're involved in everything from the raising of the cattle to the final process and nothing goes to waste. Those guys just really, really love what they're doing and it shows the quality of that meat is just crazy, crazy. That was a really good dry tip. Um, wow, I'm at a loss for words. Anyway guys, thank you for stopping by. Again, I really appreciate your views. Sub if you haven't. Keep the suggestions coming in. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.